In this video, I'm going to answer 12 of the most frequently asked questions that virtual assistants ask me, especially when they apply for a job, okay? And trust me, I know all the answers because I own a virtual assistant company for the past nine years. <laughs> TV, the place to be where we talk about business, productivity, and going after the life that we aspire. I'm your host, Judy Rallias, the CEO of Virtual Lasting, which is an outsourcing company in the Philippines. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get the latest content and freebies. We're found in YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Spotify, iTunes and Stitcher Radio. So today we're going to talk about how to be a virtual assistant. And these are the, the frequently asked questions that I will discuss today. Question number one, what is the schedule for work? Okay, so you have to think about this guys. Ang clients natin iba iba. They're from different countries, actually. Some are from the U.S., some are from Australia, some are in Europe, um, some are from New Zealand, Canada, um, Africa, and even some Asian countries. So you can really expect that when you apply for a virtual assistant job, then you would actually get, um, like there's a possibility of different kinds of schedules. So if your client is from Australia, most likely you will have a day shift um, depending on where, their, um, where your client is located in Australia because it's like a big continent country. Um, another thing is you would actually have the opportunity to ask your client what's the best schedule that you will have and you can actually be able to agree on it. Here at Virtual Lasting, um, the schedules are usually four hours to eight hours a day. So if you're a part-timer, so it's four hours a day, five days a week. And if you're um, a full-time VA, so it's eight hours a day and um, five days a week. Okay? So number two, is there a training? So if you're not going to be, I mean... Let me talk about if you're not going to be applying in our company. So usually clients would train you um, on the specific tasks that they would want you to do. Given, of course, that, you know, it involves like the processes in their company. But most likely, if your client is already expecting that you are a video editor, then they're not going to train you for video editing. Maybe they will teach you what kind of editing that they would want, but they're going to be expecting that you already know these skills. So that's the reason why it's so important that before you actually apply for a job, then you would actually um, make time to learn these different skills that you want to apply for. A lot of people really ask me like why they were not accepted, why clients are bypassing their resumes and their profiles, and it's really because of the lack of training. Like for example, um, you used to work as a waitress, but you want to be a virtual assistant. Of course, clients will not choose you because there are so many people who have the experience and the training in admin virtual assistants or in other processes or like um, tasks as a virtual assistant. So it is really important to invest in your training. Here at Virtual Lasting though, if you will go with us, then we give you a free training. Um, it's a very intensive 15 day training. It's for free. Usually we charge 10,000 pesos to 15,000 pesos for that. Um, but right now we do uh, prioritize People who are serious, we train you. 
Um, and it's really because we have so many new clients right now that we're really in a need. <laughs> so if you want to get trained, actually just go to, um, just subscribe in our channel right down below. Click on the notification bell, by the way, and go to the playlists and you can see there um, the virtual assistant training playlist. Okay, you just follow the instructions there and also submit um, the activities accordingly. Okay, number three, what is the mode of payment? So usually as a virtual assistant, there are a lot of different ways that you would receive money. Um, a lot of times it's going to be PayPal. Sometimes clients would use Payoneer, um, Veeam, um, Remitly, uh, TransferWise, and actually a lot more. Okay. I will link down below uh, these payment platforms. But if you will be working with Virtual Lasting, we will um, pay it immediately to your bank account. Preferably, it's um, a BPI account. If you don't have a BPI account, then we will ask you to open a BPI account. But of course, um, if, you're good, if you're watching this during the COVID-19 crisis, we will pay it out to whatever kind of bank account that you would have. <laughs> okay. Um, next is, what is the salary schedule? So in general, I'm not talking about if you will be working with us. In general, you will need to talk to your client about the payment schedules. There are clients who would pay weekly. There are clients who would pay monthly. There are clients who would pay like twice a month. Here at Virtual Lasting, we pay every 15th and 30th of the month. Just like any other workplace here in the Philippines. Next, are there bonuses? So you have to talk to your client if there are like incentives or bonuses in your job. It's not something that's required. Usually, um, a virtual assistant job entails that you are um, working uh, by the hour but let's say for example if it's a sales job probably you will have a commission so it really depends on the kind of client that you'd have okay next how about government benefits so you have to understand that Yung clients natin, they're not from the Philippines and their government benefits are different. And in general, because you are actually independent contractors, so you are responsible to pay for your taxes, your government mandated fees. You're the one who will file for that. You can actually pay it online and um, we can actually link below for articles that you can follow on how to do this. Okay? Next is where to apply to get a VA job. So there are actually a lot of online platforms that you can get um, jobs. There's um, online jobs PH, there's um, Upwork, there's freelancer.com, there's Craigslist, there's LinkedIn, what else? Um, there's Facebook jobs. There are actually a lot, okay? But if you're going to ask me, the best <laughs> is virtual asking, okay? We will help you. You just have to go to jobs.virtualasting.com and we will assist you in the entire process. We will train you. We will give you clients. We will make sure that you're paid on time. What's not to love? <laughs> Next is what are the requirements? What do you need in order for you to be accepted um, in a virtual assistant job? It's pretty simple, but I would um, summarize this into three parts. First of all, make sure that you have internet connection that is stable. So I'm really seeing that there's so many people who would apply for a job and they don't have internet access. Make sure that you have a wired line, okay? Um, you can have a DSL line or a fiber line and, you know, an acceptable speed would be like 3 to 5 Mbps, okay? Um, you must 
also have the correct um, equipment, okay? So, what do we mean by correct equipment? You have to have a computer or a laptop that can really help you, uh, that can really uh, function um, properly when you're doing online tasks, okay? It really depends on what kind of online tasks that you would have. Let's say, for instance, you're going to be like an iOS developer or something. Obviously, then you would need a Mac, okay? But for most online jobs, um, it's pretty simple. Just a computer or a laptop that's at least an i3. Um, at least that has like 4 to 8 gigabytes RAM and like 500 gigabytes storage. You know, the usual laptop, that's fine, okay? And then next is you have to have experience. As I'm saying, it's so important to have experience um, and to know what you're actually uh, doing. So I know that so many people will say like, so how can I become a virtual assistant if I don't have experience? So my tip would be is to start helping out entrepreneurs. Um, they don't have, you don't even have to have like a paid client yet. At least you have to have like a customer first so that you can try out if you really know these skills. Obviously, I'm not saying that you're going to be giving free services forever, maybe like for a week or like two weeks or something. Try to get experience, okay? Here at Virtual Lasting, if you will be trained with us, then you will actually get um, experience as well. Um, we have an internship and we also have like um, paid trials with our clients. So you really get the best of both worlds. Training, experience, and guidance. Okay, number nine, is there an age limit? For me, there really is no limit in age. As long as you are willing to do the tasks, then I don't see any reason why you cannot do it. Um, for legal purposes, you have to be of legal, legal age, okay? So 18 and above. In fact, we have a virtual assistant in our company who is 65 years old. I am not kidding. And she is really able to do her tasks. She knows all these digital marketing skills. And I think that you can also do it. Um, next question. Can we just use our cell phone to work online? The answer is a big no. Okay. There's so many people who actually ask me this question and it kind of grinds my gears because, oh my gosh, this is a serious job. This is not just like, you know, a rocket rocket lang. This is a real job. You're going to be paid actually really handsomely. And if you really want to be a virtual assistant, a quality one, then you're going to invest on your own equipment. Okay. Next is, can OFWs apply or is this limited to Filipinos? Online Filipino workers um, are welcome in our company as long as, of course, they agree on the pay. Like, for example, um, our pay structure is very much uh, generous for Filipinos, but maybe if you're expecting that you will be paid um, apples to apples, um to like the admin assistants in the united states i'm sorry then that's not the thing because obviously clients are getting us um as virtual assistants because they want to actually save on outsourcing um salaries so we will be able to discuss that during the onboarding all right so i hope that you learned from this um from this video um, mag apply kayo. You're so welcome. Uh, I have really welcoming um, admin and HR teams. They're so good. And we have um, a family of virtual assistants. We, you're so welcome to join us. You just have to go to jobs.virtualasting.com or email jobs at virtualasting.com. And you can also go to the training in this channel. Just subscribe and hit the notification bell. Then go to the playlists 
and you will see the virtual assistant training 2020 um, playlist <laughs> okay all right so um, I hope that this was helpful and you all have a great day you take care bye